Hello and welcome to Karma Chameleon Makeup for Mental Health. This is a series where I usually go live every Saturday 3pm UK time. Um, however, this week, um, as you're watching, it was my birthday yesterday. I have family over and more than likely won't be in the house. But I will, however, be in the live chats. So yes, guys, let's jump on in as you may have noticed i'm feeling the halloween vibes already i have my cat ears my black cat ears i have my green contacts and a green top so i probably have put it in the title anyway but i'm going to be using the beetlejuice recently deceased palette from melt cosmetics i was so fortunate to get this i love let me put that down crikey I love this. This is, have I got it the right way around? I don't know, but I love this. This is so cool. So, so cool. Yes, I think I have. Yes. Looking at the Beetlejuice name. Um, but yeah. So, to start off, I am going to prime my eyes with the Be Perfect Perfect Prime Eyeshadow Priming Base. Um, I love this. This is such a good eye primer. So, what are you guys up to today? Have you had a good week? For me, it's kind of midweek as I'm filming. Um, yeah, it's not, not a bad week so far. I have, um, in the last few days, started with CBD um oil or whatever you call it in my vape um to hopefully that will make a difference to my pain levels but time will tell um i do have to say today touch wood um is a pretty good day as far as pain levels go um I'm never out of pain, but today is a relatively manageable day. And I am so thankful for that. If you hear lots of noises, um, they're still doing work on the pub a couple of doors down. And uh, they are not quiet. They've got the loud radio on, which I hope you can't hear because I don't want to get in trouble for music. Um, yeah, they're talking loudly, making a lot of noise, um, doing their jobs. Yeah, I do love this uh, eye primer. I'm glad I came out of my little tantrum. Yeah. My daughter, Kira, she does not get on with this eye primer at all. Um, so it's funny how it's not just different skin types, um, but obviously the age of your skin, it all makes a difference, doesn't it? And I, along with many of my on the older side friends I'm sure will agree that I miss the days when I could literally shove anything on my face and it didn't matter but those days are gone and um, I've got an extremely dry mouth I don't know if it's down to the CBD stuff but I usually have a really dry mouth anyway but for some reason these last couple of days it's been worse so we are going to jump on into the makeup i will also be pulling in um a black shadow it's in one of my larger things <laughs> i'm using this black shadow it's from lethal cosmetics and if i can lift it up it is called transmutation so that is the black i am going to be um bringing into the look move everything out of the way 
I do like to make a mess clearly um is what it is so let me find the brush I want so I am first going to take draw door am I yeah I am I can't make up my mind I'm taking that on a made by Mitchell ME3 make sure it's all patted down otherwise we'll end up with wonderful stripes which I suppose being Beetlejuice isn't a, a bad thing but that's not the look that I'm particularly going for I am so excited to be doing Halloweeny looks why I do love Halloween. Um, if my pain levels had have been lower in the lead up, I would have done a lot more looks wise, etc. for Halloween. But it is what it is. And we're here now. And I've nearly ruined Beetlejuice's face in this palette, the imprint, embossing, whatever you call it. Um, this palette is awesome. I know you can't get it anymore. And um, for those of you who didn't manage to get your hands on it and wanted it, I'm so sorry. Um, I don't usually like to use palettes that people can't get a hold of again. Um, but it's in my collection. I want to use it. And I'm sure there's a few of you at least out there that actually do have this palette. This colour is just beautiful. I love it. Yeah, so film-wise, I think, over this Halloween period, um, my favourite Halloween films um, have to be, well, there's obviously Beetlejuice. Um, I have always been a huge, huge fan of Beetlejuice. So, hence this palette, I had to have it. Had to. And um, fortunately, my wonderful boyfriend got it me for last Christmas. It was my Christmas present. And I love it. It is just awesome. But yeah, there's also, film-wise, um, Hocus Pocus. I mean, God, who doesn't love Hocus Pocus? I'm sure there's going to be people that don't. But oh, it is such an amazing film. Just so good. And Bette Midler, I just think, is one of... Just, she's amazing, that woman. Absolutely amazing. So I love her in Beaches, but that's like a really heartbreaking film. And I'm an over-emotional person. At the best of times. I'm just really blending this up and out. But when it comes to more of the scary, horror -y kind of Halloween films, uh, Gothica is one I absolutely love. And will definitely be digging that out to watch it because I do have that on DVD. Um, along with Hocus Pocus. I'm not sure if I've actually got Beetlejuice on DVD. I think these days it's you don't tend to really buy the DVDs because most of us have either like Netflix or Amazon Prime or I don't know what the alternatives are in say the US etc. Am I happy with how this is looking? Yes. Yes I am. All right. I'm just going to kind of stamp this around the outer part of the lid here. I'm going to be going in with the black to deepen, but I'm hoping that we 
keep some kind of well just keep this a bit make sure it's blended into rather than just I don't know where I was heading with that who knows who knows believe me you would not want to live inside my head for a day <laughs> you would need a holiday trust me but yeah just stamping that on Choice of older eyes, eh? Right, where's one of my teensy teensy brushes? Right, I'm going to be using the Made by Mitchell ME2, the little tiny one. I'm going into Transmutation, the black from Lethal, and I'm just going to start working that into the outer section here. This brush is amazing. I have Katie, Makeup for Lost Time, to thank for this. This brush is the perfect brush for when you want to go in gently and build. Because as you can see, it is it just does the job perfectly. I don't know why I was about to go back in the Beetlejuice palette there. And then I'm going to make sure it's deeper, just right in this, just out of it here. Again, not the Beetlejuice palette stuff. That's the one thing that I wish had been in this palette. I wish they had have made it the same as with the, oh crikey, the other one. The other one they did, where there was like the extra two, extra two shadows. And I really wish they had put a black in there. That would have been just perfect, but hey ho, they didn't, and uh, this is where we're at. Yeah, if I could, if I could have picked or made any changes to the palette, I most definitely would have added a black. I really don't know why they didn't, but oh well. It doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah, this palette is awesome. I love it. I keep trying to dip into the, the Beetlejuice palette. I've literally just darkened on the... Um, lowest part of the crease and then quite, kind of brought it up and out rather than across if that makes sense again not very good at describing things but it's all good because you can see with your own eyes i hope i would imagine you are otherwise you wouldn't really be watching my videos because i can't imagine listening to me ramble away about nothing is that interesting um, you never know oh, this is, i'm loving this yeah black is definitely what was missing okay so i'm thinking i want to go into the lower part of my crease with beetlejuice because I just really want to use this shade I love it and I'm going to go in here and bring that kind of almost to go between the black and draw door this palette is just so beautiful I am so so over the moon I have this. Oh, that's looking nice and grungy. This is my first experience of melt eyeshadows. 
Um, there are a couple of their palettes I would really like. They're always sold out or when they are in stock, I can't record them. Um, the Gemini palette is absolutely stunning. However, I think the Flower Punk palette from Kaleidos is gives off similar vibes and I know I absolutely adore like the Kaleidos formula. Yeah, this is definitely, definitely doing what I wanted. So we're going obviously more grungy, more Halloween -y. and I like it. Oh, film wise, um, there is also, I think it's called 13 Ghosts and I discovered it a few years ago and it's like this film and it's a house that has obviously 13 ghosts. Um, but yeah, it's really good. Um, if you like kind of the, it's obviously more ghosty. That's my kind of horror. I like the ghosty ones, the more supernaturally kind of ones. They're my thing, so to speak. Um, just going to go back in with draw a door just a little bit. And just make sure that I blend the edges out with that. Ooh. Okay, I'm loving this look so far. So I think last time I used it, I was just like desperate to use a black with it. But I was trying to only use the shades from this palette. And... I am so happy that I decided to do this because I'm loving it. Alright, and then back in with Beetlejuice. Well, I really hope you can't hear the music outside. It seems to be getting louder and louder. Yeah, I'm just blending kind of the edge of where the black joins draw it all. And also just trying to get some real kind of green into... Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, this shade is particularly beautiful. That's looking more like what I was headed for. I don't know why I thought that the black would mix with draw a door to uh, create what I wanted. It's one of them days. Definitely one of them days. So as you are watching this and I am chatting away in the live comments, I've probably already mentioned um, that we'll be out in the car um, to pick up a minibus to convert into a mobile home. No, not to live in, but for getting, getting to see different places, you know, places that it ends up costing a fortune if you've got to uh, book hotel rooms or etc. So I love the Lake District and I am so desperate to go back there. Obviously, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to climb mountains again, but I can look at them. So that will be just awesome being able to do that. Yeah, of course, as you're watching this, I would have turned 40 yesterday. I am so not ready to be 40. Not even a little bit. I left my phone there. Why have I done that? Oh no. Um, yeah, not ready at all. But, uh, again, just really deepening 
just this little outer V bit here. I'm dragging it very gently into the crease. That's looking more like it. I had kind of in my head what I wanted to do, which usually goes in a completely different direction. But today, today it is uh, touch wood going to plan. This black is very um, kick uppy, very, very kick uppy. But it is doing what I want it to, so that is, that's okay. Definitely going to need to clean up under the eyes. I'm loving this. I'm just going to take the brush I used for draw a door. I'm just going to gently blend that out a bit there. Just gentle. Okay, I am loving this so far. Absolutely loving it. Right, for the lid, let me first find one of these. Well, you will do for one. Shall I grab you? So, moving away from the Mitchell brushes, I'm using this kind of Morphe flat but fluffy brush and I'm going to go into Paranormal which is the green shimmer this is beautiful I've used this um kind of the way I would use a matte also um in the original look because I needed some depth and uh, it works really well for that if you blend it out I'm packing this on so there is going to be fallout, but it's all good. We can clean that up after. Uh, this palette is an absolute beauty. I love it. I hope they kind of, I say bring this back, do something similar in the next few years. Um, it doesn't look like they have this year, but then I'm a bit kind of out of out of the loop with what's going on in the beauty world. I haven't been doing um, new releases and sneak peeks just because I've been really struggling with my pain levels, and I just felt it more kind of important to to just do some makeup looks to give shout outs more to some indie brands and yeah so that's the way this has gone okay and then let me see if I can just wipe some of that away yeah we can Yeah, some of it, some of it. Right, and now I am going in with Neurotic, which is that shimmer there. This is definitely a palette that I would have loved to have seen made as a permanent addition to Melt's products, but I get that obviously it would have been a contract thing with 
the uh, kind of owners of the rights to the Beetlejuice stuff, but it would have been nice to see, even if they kind of did it as a they re-release re it kind of every October or September leading up to Halloween. That would be cool. But yeah, that's just that's just me. I do love this part in particular. I I would have loved to own both, but at the time I couldn't afford it and it was bought for me as a as a Christmas present. And I love it. Just look at that. And this is with no setting like I haven't sprayed my brush, I haven't put down glitter primer. This is just how they come out. How beautiful is that? And then just taking the brush with the darker green shimmer on. I'm just going to pat over these edges. Tiny bit. I think if anything, this is looking better than I was expecting. Okay, and then going back into the black from Lethal Cosmetics, the transmutation, I think if I remember correctly. I'm just going to go back in and make sure that that outer, outer area is really nice and deep. I'm not too too worried about here because I will be popping on liner. But oh, that, that is gorgeous. Oh, yes, I am loving this. I'm quickly going to, ow, beat myself up. I'm quickly going to nip off and clean up. Um, and then I'll come back. So yeah, just see where you are. Okay, so all cleaned up and I am first off, no I'm shaking it, going in with the Madage Beauty Liquid Eyeliner Black. Um, I did receive this in PR, um, but I love it. And we're going to It's going to be a fairly thick line. I've been getting out of bed these past few days. Think it's fair to be proud about it. I've quit ordering from all those fast food chains. I'm feeling bad. I do love the brush on this one. It makes it so easy. To uh, be precise, talking does not. Okay, so I'm going in with a Makeup by Tammy um, water activated liner, um, just water activated cake liner. This one doesn't have a name on it, but it's the white one. And here we go. 
I've just popped a bit of water in there and I'm just using one of the Makeup by Tammy liner brushes. This is the 0001. I don't know if you can buy them separately or whether they just come as the set, but they're, they're very inexpensive. So I would definitely recommend them. I'm very into my water activated liners. Um, I have quite a lot. I have a lot of Artitude Cosmetics ones because they're my favourite and I can't help but favour them because I love them. Not really any other reason. <laughs> I love them. Alright, so I'm just mixing this to make sure I've got a real, a real strong paste because I want it to obviously cover bits of the black. So you probably have an idea of what I'm aiming for with me saying that all right so the plan is to just do some white bits in between I'm hoping this comes out well. We're just gonna have to wait and see. Obviously I don't have my glasses on and this is a really close up work. Okay, all right, I am pretty happy with how that's looking. So I'm just going to nip off quickly and let this dry and then I'll be back to continue. Okay, so I quickly popped on some lashes whilst I was off camera. Um, the lashes I used are from Altitude Cosmetics. They're in the style Rebel. Um, I bought them myself. Um, I'm not sure if she does them anymore. But I love them, so I'm wearing them. And the mascara I used is the e.l.f. Keep Your Curl Mascara. I love it. Right, so we are on to face. So for primer, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Illuminating Primer Mist. I am going to spread on my hand first, just purely because... Um, I don't want to spread on my eyes. Please excuse the van reversing outside beeping. Oh, okay. Are you illuminating? It is very, very runny. But then I spit it's a mist, Steph, it's a mist. Um how illuminating are you? One way to find out. Let's see. Illuminating. Try it with this mirror. Yeah, a bit. Yeah, I quite like it. It's more of like a, a healthy glow than a really illuminated, but I'm trying to think if I've used this before. It's in my main collection, so I'm assuming I've used it before. Who knows? Not me, apparently. So for foundation, I'm going to stick with one of my favourites. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. I have it in the shade 220N. I love it. And I just pop some of that. My pump goes down, but I have to pull it back up. I'm sure it doesn't like me. Um, and I'm going to try using my stippling brush. It's a real techniques one. So I wanted to see if this would distribute better but we shall see crikey 
I don't know why Work On One Pub takes so many large white vans. There's like three on the other side of the road, one right outside my house. Bear in mind there's not really room to park on the side of the road for like if anything big comes the other way I think they're going to be pretty pretty screwed but hey ho actually this is oh I'm liking this oh, I've got hairs stuck to my face remove those yeah this is good okay Yeah, stippling. <laughs> I'm only really doing what I would do with any of the other brushes, but I do like what it's doing. Yeah, this foundation isn't the most full coverage, but as you can see, it's it's got pretty good coverage. And I'm pretty sure it builds up nice. I just prefer to go in with concealer rather than extra layers of foundation hmm. yeah I'm liking how this is looking and by the looks of it I'm using less product as well using this brush how bizarre I keep meaning to kind of wet my beauty one of my beauty blenders to use and I forget constantly <laughs> one day I will remember but don't hold your breath for that because my memory is like a sieve so yeah not a good idea to hold your breath for that I do like how the foundation is going on like this Hmm. Yeah, I've still got a, sh a lot <laughs> on the back of my hand. Maybe I will try building it up a bit. Let's have a see. Hmm. Okay. I think this brush definitely kind of layers it on thinner which i do have to admit i prefer thinner layers rather than going on top of a thick layer with another thick layer hmm yeah i like i like this Yeah, I'm loving this actually. Hmm. Why haven't I thought to do this before? Or have I? And I just don't remember. Hairs on my face. Who knows? Yeah. I have to say, I like it. That is looking good. Do I want to go in with overly brightening? No, I don't. Do I want to use that? Yes, I do. Isn't it meant to be the first sign of madness talking to yourself? Um, for concealer I'm going in with the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer I love this my hair out of the way um, so guys Christmas who is a big Christmas fan I have to raise my hand and say I am and more than likely the whole of December is going to be Christmas. I do my step into Christmas. I I love it. I love anything anything Christmas. I just love it. Um, I'm going to be using this Huda Beauty. It says face conceal and blend. I use that side to carve my brows, and then this is the side I'm going in with now. Uh, 
I really like this little brush. You can be precise, but it's still fluffy enough to kind of blend. I like that. That's this uh, foundation. This concealer is gorgeous. I love it. Blank out my face. So yeah, for Steph into Christmas, I'm I more than likely will do what I did last year and do like Christmas with like brands. Like I did a Christmas with Makeup by Lisa, a Christmas with Artitude Cosmetics, Lois Cosmetics. Can't remember if there were others knowing me. Probably yes. Um it just feels like a lifetime ago already, last Christmas. Make sure we have concealed around the edge here. You do need to work with this fairly quick because it does it does dry down relatively quickly. Okay, and then I'm going to pop some under the eyes. So yeah, is there anything in particular that you guys would like to see in December? Kind of the lead up to Christmas, step into De step into December, step into Christmas. If there is, then just let me know. And if it's something that I can do, then I will definitely do my best to do that. I'm loving how that's looking. I picked up another one of the e.l.f. putty bronzers in the shade that's slightly deeper and this is called Bronzed Bell. This is what she looks like. And the brush I'm going in with is a Real Techniques buffing brush. I really love the formula of these, so I really wanted to uh, get a, a deeper version. Yeah, the formula on these is amazing. It's so, so nice to use. I have been loving also the Huda Beauty Tan Tour, but obviously that's a lot less affordable than this. These are, I think six pounds. I want to say six pounds, but so worth it. So obviously you don't use a lot of product because it it kind of blends out really easily. I'm 
this is a really beautiful colour. Yeah, I think I do prefer this actually to the other one. I think it's Honey Drip or something like that. Um, that's a little more subtle on me. That makes sense. It's not the end of the world if you kind of end up pasting on a little bit too much because it does blend out beautifully. Yeah, it's de <laughs> yeah, this colour is definitely more me, I think. Whilst, I don't know, I do love the other colour too. I think it depends on maybe the look I'm going for. Who knows? I'm just going to dab on just a bit more around here. Just to kind of you know, make my cheekbones lift. A bit more or look more lifted so yeah have any of you guys tried those this um i first saw these used um it was steph from steph's beauty stash and where we're a very similar skin colour etc I kind of based what I wanted off of her which is how I chose this one also but yeah if any of you guys have tried this or used this let me know what you guys think because obviously we all like different things and different things work on different skin tones or skin types yeah let's have a chat right let me get there right. I'm just going to take just a little spectrum co6 and I'm just going to take a bit just to kind of shape my nose that's what you call it contour contour my nose <laughs> wow Steph, seriously, I am not with it today. Not that I am any day, but no, for some reason today I'm finding it particularly difficult to uh, to speak, to think of words. I have no idea. straighten out the bumpiness <laughs> oh wow that is a very technical term I'm straightening out my bumpiness there we go I need to shush right let's make sure under here is not creased Okay, today I am going in with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Insta Retouch Setting Powder. I have it in the shade Butter. I love it. Okay, tap tap under there. And I'm just using a Made by Mitchell MF2 just to set under my eyes. This is one of my favourite powders. This one and the HMB Cosmetics one. I love them both so much. They're both really lightweight. They're both blur. There's not really... I have nothing negative to say about either one of them. The smell of this. If you don't like scented products, you're not going to like it. But, oh, it smells like luxury. And I'm all for that. I'm all for pampering myself, which is how I feel when I use this powder. 
feel like I'm pampering myself. Yeah, it just blurs everything. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they do the same thing. The HMB Cosmetics one and this one. And HMB is a UK indie brand. So I'm not sure if... Is Fenty Beauty classed as an indie brand? Because isn't it... Wasn't it a brand already that or that she doesn't completely own or something. If you know, then let me know because I'm too lazy to look it up. All right, bigger brush. I'm actually going to use a Spectrum A01 today. I've been using my Artitude Cosmetics one pretty much constantly since I got it. Um, all of the brushes that came in the set. I've got this set with like all the brushes and they are all amazing. So if you're looking for a really nice brush set, wanting to support indie brands, um, from what I hear, I haven't actually tried any, but I also hear that the brushes from Lois Cosmetics are amazing. So if you've tried those, let me know. Not that I need any more brushes, but. I love how smooth my face feels after using this powder and also the HMB Cosmetics one. It just leaves my skin feeling like, oh, not quite sure what the, I want to say silk, but it's not silk because it, silk is kind of, oh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> my skin's really soft after using it. So before I go with the face products, I'm just going to do my under eyes and I am using, what are you, a crown little tiny smudgy brush and I'm taking that right up against the lash line. So I'm using the um, Lethal Cosmetics Transmutation, same black as we're using on the upper, upper lid. I am being very careful because Obviously, I've now done my base. So just really deepening. Really deepening against that lash line. I have me even doing this so that you can see. I hope so. And this look is coming together beautifully. Remembering to tap off the brush yeah, black smudges down my face is not not the look i'm going for today not quite sure that's the look i go for on any day but Right, I 
am going to move that so I can actually tell if I'm in frame. I am going to first go in with Lost Souls. And I'm using one of the brushes from Artitude Cosmetics. This is one of the smaller, kind of almost flat but fluffy. And I'm going to take that and really blend out the edge of that black with that. Oh, I'm loving this. Absolutely loving it. Oh, looking good so far. And then I'm just going to wiggle my brush off a little bit. And then I'm going in with Bio Exorcist. I'm going to use that just to go over the edge. Oh, I'm loving this. You see what I'm doing? <laughs> I could just keep going here. This is making me so happy. But I'm going to have to stop because they've already got enough on. Yeah. I am really happy with that. I do, however, want to... I am going to spray my brush. So I'm going to dip into Little Accident. Uh, one of the purple shimmers and I'm doing that on a Morphe M149 so I'll get a bit of that on the brush and then I'm just going to give it a spray I'm using my Morphe Mattifying Continuous Setting Mist I love the smell of watermelon and I'm going to take that actually right up against the lashes And then down into that. Okay, all right. Okay, so for in my waterline, I'm going in with the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil. This one is in the shade Go Green. I think this is going to be perfect for with this look. I've managed to spray my mirror. Let's see if I can get this to warm up and work. It's the only thing about these is they do take a bit of warming up. But I do love how they work. Yeah. <laughs> And pop a bit of mascara on the lower lashes. I'm using the e.l.f. Keep Your Curl mascara again. This is a really good one for the lower lashes because it doesn't, you don't end up with like panda eyes. It's 
throughout the day which with a lot of mascaras it does tend to happen um i tend not to use waterproof ones partly because they really irritate my eyes um but also i think you do so much more damage to your lashes trying to get the stuff off So, where are we at now? Let's go for bronzer. So, let's get bronzer brush. Okay, so for bronzer, I'm using the Nabla Skin Bronzing in the shade June. I love this. It is a really lovely bronzer and it is really beginner friendly yeah this is really beginner friendly it's such a beautiful bronzer and it's definitely a buildable formula which i think suits a lot of people i think it's it's so easy to go in overboard with a lot of products um yeah i like this a lot what are your guys favorite bronzers do you have a favorite bronzer see for me mostly my excitement with makeup is around eyeshadow palettes that's kind of my big thing i do love colorful lipsticks and i'm actually quite getting into base products they used to just be a necessary step but no i'm uh I'm enjoying them. I'm actually going to skip the the blush and just go bronzed. Hmm, yeah. Just make sure I put more up there. I'm still waiting on my Nomad, the Haunted Europe palette, to arrive. I think it still hasn't left the US yet. But as soon as it does, because I will be collabing with two of my wonderful friends and fellow creators, Marina and Bridget, and I'm so excited for it. But I just need to wait for it to come. Hmm. Happy with that. So for highlighter, I'm going in with my V Cosmetics Divine Highlight. I love this so much, which if you are not new, you will already know. It is, it's like a green based highlight with blue and purple flecks in it and I love it. I'm always talking about this highlighter. You guys that are, are not new are probably sick of hearing about it like you're sick of hearing about how much I love pout and shout blushes and how I think that they are the best. Nice. I'm actually, let me just go over that quick with my bronzer brush, just to make sure they are melted together. nice okay so i'm going to go into my inner corner and brow bone also with this 
highlighter it's going to go beautifully um oh, this is so pretty I'm pretty sure this highlight could go with <laughs> almost any look. It is so beautiful. And I say that I do a lot of um, more green looks and purple and blue looks. So yeah, this is probably a really good, a really good, um, what do you call it? Um, companion to a lot of my looks right let's get a teensy weensy brush and I'm just going to pop a bit of that just right up under the arch here so I just want it up I just want it under the arch just that bit there. Yeah, just like that. Look, now I need to decide. Hmm. hmm. What colour colour lipstick do I want to go in with? I'm going black. Right. I'm first going to go in with the ColourPop Lippy Sticks primer. I love this. This is so so good. And then I am going to go in with this Space Cake Cosmetics um, lipstick in the shade Galaxy. I am so excited. This has been sat in my books of shame for too long. Okay guys, so I am really happy with this look. I am feeling the Halloween vibes and I love it. Um, let me know what you guys think either in the live chat, if we're chatting away in there, or in the description box below. If you are watching at a later time, later date, um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. I have had so much fun playing just with the Beetlejuice theme. I loved it. Love it, love it. And I will be watching Beetlejuice in the next handful of days because it's one of my favourite movies ever. So yeah, I think that is about it from me for today. Again, apologies that it is a premiere rather than a live however if you're around tomorrow 3 p.m uk time then i will be doing just a halloween vibes live so yeah if you are free then please do come along um yeah if you've liked this video please do give it a like thumbs up that really helps me out if you are new around here, if you are a lover of colourful makeup, if you love to support indie brands, if you want to maybe discover some indie brands that you haven't heard of before, then please do consider subscribing. It would be wonderful 
to have you here to join the Karma Chameleon family. Come and be one of my beautiful chameleons. I would really appreciate it. And there are such an amazing bunch of people that are here every Saturday. So yeah, do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that YouTube will notify you of my future uploads. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.